Hug our way to the River Road tree houses. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. What's it called? What is it? Oh, shoot. Oh, damn, it has a whole... It has a whole thing. Thing with the thing. Look at your room, Daddy. Um, I'm not gonna go to the river. Hey, we're going to the river. Oh, shit. You know what time it is. You're supposed to be helping me with the food and the stuff and all that. Oh, I need to get my car. Daddy said, fuck the river. <laughs> Super hot. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shower, make this barbecue litty, bruh. No, we still have some more stuff. This way. You gotta take that inside. This adventure, or this walk to the river has been an adventure. Uh, first I bought a small compressor and it wasn't really filling up the tubes because it didn't have enough positive pressure ventilating out of the output. So then we took the tubes to um, come on, get in. to a nice little trading post or store where we're able to fill them out. Yeah, let's help them. But uh, so it's been quite a struggle, and this side of the river is not as flowing or fluent. So uh, I'll give you my rating of the treehouse uh, when we leave, and I'll also show you some better parts of this river where you won't be uh, discouraged to come. Yeah. This shit is murky as fuck, man. 
Let's see what's up, man. I'm gonna laugh at you next time you fall. And then I got killed by you. Yeah. And I was like, make sure next time you fall, he fucking fell in front of me. Oh my god. Such brotherly love. The water's murky, guys, but I mean, tomorrow we'll have a better spot. Hey, the Crocs in super speed mode. Of course, babe. And then the, the wagon overkills me. Man, con estos chanclas ando en el rancho, ando en la ciudad, ando en la pinche agua, todo pinche lado. Dad, you're like, hold on, Dad. I'm gonna move so you can come sit on here and just throw yourself. Oh my God, it is cold. I can feel the temperature changing already. <laughs> Woo! It's about to go this out. Oh. Wow. Right oh no, this is cold. This is colder than your mom's heart. I. I have a rock. You're not gonna float away. Let's go, babe. Record me? Yeah. Okay, it's already recording. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. We gotta pick him up. Ah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I was recording it. You see how my mom's nalgas were in the bag. Ready? Ready? Are you recording again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this shit is cold as fuck, man. Here, put my glass on top of the table, bro. Man, we is chilling. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it was cold. It was cold. This water is cold, man. I'm getting hypothermic and shit. You! <laughs> oh, you jack! You I love both cards. Get in the water, you have left up. I go, Daddy. I go, Daddy. Come on, pull me over there. What'd you guys find? Yeah. Burger patty. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them in the river. Throw them in the river. Nobody gonna eat them. Huh? Yeah. Well, I had just bought the. Um, what is this called? Charcoal starter. Yeah. No, no. A charcoal. Charcoal, charcoal can. Charcoal. Charcoal starter can. And it worked very well. The boys. Did you guys start it or not? The yes. boys started it up. Darren and Nathan, so we got the fire in the pit. This thing should be burning up. We got a brand new brush, and I'm gonna go look for that right now. You wanna follow me? I'm gonna go inside to get the fajitas ready. I'm gonna season that shit, man. There's a lot of bikers around here. There's a lot of bikers here in the river road. So I got the fajita out of the fridge. We got some uh, ribs. I bought this seasoning, seasoning or season all from HEB, and I also got the fajita seasoning on deck. We're about to splice this. You always got your knife on deck, and if you don't, then you know what you gotta do. You gotta go and buy yourself a knife. Cause real men, what do real men do, Nathan? Uh, they they clean buy their knife. knife. They buy themselves a knife. That's right. You always gotta have a knife. Because you need to cook for the girls. You gotta cook for the girls. You gotta cut something. You gotta be the man. 
So what I like to do is just cut into the plastic just like so, enough so I can pull it off. And then I put the sprinkler cap back on. That one's ready. This one, it has uh, grooves where it's pre-cut, so you can just pull it off. And then you can unlock the code to the seasonal from Morton Salt Company. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open the top to the sift dean option. So, so I'm you gonna can put a lot or a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with the seasonal and the fajita seasoning. And at home I have a real nice uh, meat tenderizer uh, it's used for steak. But since I'm not at home and I had to buy this stuff, I just got these two. Would I apply all three? No, I would apply two. Instead of using the seasonal, I would just use the meat tenderizer uh, in conjunction with the fajita seasoning. Everybody copy that, man. So I'm gonna spray the back, spray the back, spray the front. See, mommy. And it's going on the grill cut. So we see the temperature is pretty much at zero because we had the can open. So I already closed it so the temperature can rise up to at least minimum 300. Meanwhile, I wait for the temperature to rise. I go ahead and place my meat on there already. I'm placing a little bit to the off side because I want to get a little smoky. Smoky notion or a smoky technique of cooking. And then I'll put it into the heat a little later. If I notice that the meat is not cooking fast enough or fully in time for us to eat because you know we hungry, baby. Are we hungry or no? Yes. yes. Yes, awesome. We want s'mores too. Fist bump and s'mores. My dad told us to go look at the scenery. And as you see, there's some cows. And earlier, we, we had also saw a dove. And then, look, uh, all that big mountain with all trees. And also, whenever we're coming here, I saw a cow's butt with poop. Cut. Did you guys get the scenery? A real nice hill background. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do with the fajita, I already seasoned it with the same two ingredients. What two ingredients did I use, Nathan? The seasonal and the original fa fajita, fajita seasoning. seasoning. I put that on the front and the back of both of these fajita strips. I'm just gonna cut it into a more, uh, steak size proportion of maybe uh, three by four by four inches after I do that I'm gonna put it on the grill and I, I might add some more charcoal because I believe that it could add it could need more heat uh, right now I'll show you guys the fire I said I wanted to keep it uh, into a smoky session keep it a uh, we want to get that smoke ring baby Let's go check out the fire. Yep. Why do you put it there? I'm gonna put it there because I already want to start cooking because I'm hungry. <laughs> no, but the factual. The, the fat? Factual. Factual? What does that mean? Like, why you're putting on that side and why you're putting that on side, that side? Because the ribs, I want a little bit more smoke and the fajita, I want to grill already because I'm hungry and want to eat. Okay. What? Hi guys, I'm gonna be bringing you with us outside. Let's go outside. Nathan, is the chicken busting? Yes. It's not chicken. Pollo? Not pollo. Pollo and chicken are the same thing. Oh. No, you need two. You need two. Not just one. You have a double. <laughs> Let me see. Whoa. Okay. 